Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to jump into Marmoset Toolback 4 and I want to kind of show something that I'm trying to figure out so I'm going to generate a primitive, a plane I'm just going to drop that in there I want to replicate something I've seen in Quixel Mixer and this is kind of a workaround to something uh, I tried to replicate it is it's not perfect but it is something similar so let's go ahead and name this we're going to create a new texture project and let's drag this to link it so now they're linked we're gonna to go to our layers and so now we have this so let's go to something at the top we're gonna to drop this in so now we have an aluminum what I like to do is have another material and kind of seep through so we have an asteroid. I'm going to drop this in. And what I like to do is have this, the height, kind of like be the up and down to blend between the material and not so much going through a blending mode or anything like that that you can see here. Or even just go through an opacity saying like, all right, let's see. We got enough of this. We can see through it and, you know, just trying to do this method. I want to do more of the craters. <coughs> So let's create a mask, a fill mask, make it white. What I thought you could do is just copy this and drop it in. It doesn't let you. Went to the other channels, same thing, copy. Nothing. So the workaround would be, well, I already have this texture. Let's drag it into here. Now I have a displacement. Copy that. Go to my layers and drop that in. So now we have actually this this as a uh, mask. So you can actually see through it now. And so we can increase or decrease. And it's, it's kind of close to what Quixel Mixer does. It's not 100%. I can't go all the way up this way. And, and, and well, actually you can. You can go this way and it'll be 100% and go this way. And you got back and forth. So now you actually have layering. And so now we can layer stuff on top of each other. So let's find something a little more interesting. So maybe bricks. Let's draw some bricks in and try bricks. Let's see if there's anything to grab from this. So say for instance, I want something to be in between these bricks. So let's grab the same brick. Drag this in. We're going to copy. We're going to go ahead and make a mask fill paste so now we should be able to kind of pick and choose see now you got the stone coming through looking like it's I guess if it was like stones on the water so we can increase this mask and kind of go back and forth just right there so now you kind of like see a little bit of that variation and we can actually go backwards and kind of just play with this and so we have this we can play with the moon crater let's change the color so we can see actually what's shining through so say for instance you wanted like I guess a green ooze or something on there so now you can see that this is there turn that off and we actually have an aluminum so let's turn this into a color so we can actually see let's make it alright do a little yellow looks kinda like some crazy spill went on there turn on the asteroid so now that you can see that's blending in there. So another thing you might want to consider if you're trying to do a, a texture map, do your UVs, just make sure they're on UV or leave them on the chart planer so we can click them on UVs and go from here. So it's a little bit of a workaround, but I was wanting something to kind of like vary it up because you know, you get all this detail and then you have these materials that have all this information that you can push and pull and, and get that into here and so that's really what I wanted I wanted to push push and pull the the, the materials so hopefully this is something that you know is helpful and I know it's been kinda like trying to figure out how to do this and so I sat down today and just kinda looked at it and try to break it down and the, the simplest answer was just to go back into the main material and grab it and so it's a little bit of a workaround but it seems to work um, I'm kind of happy now that I know a method to kind of get that similar Quixel mixer because I like both programs but I like 
to stay in one program and this would be the program of choice I'd like to be in so thank you for watching and hope you have a good day